What up guys, AJ and Alistar coming back at you guys with another video and this time guys we have top 5 ways of thinking or like I like to call them 5 mental states that you guys can use when starting to work out or to keep pushing to make those gains. So coming in at number 1 we have mind over matter. Guys this is something that I have heard countless times throughout my you know fitness career and you know Something that I have heard even since my middle school days, you know, during PE, you know, your teacher would push you, you know, your teacher would tell you, you know, mind over matter, come on, run an extra lap, you got this, you got this. Guys, this is exactly what you guys have to engrave into your mindset when starting to work out or when you're even working out. Yes, it will hurt to make gains, you know? Your muscles will be sore day after day. You will feel like you cannot push anymore. But guys, let me tell you, that moment when you feel like you have given it your all, that moment when you feel drained, that's when you push even harder, guys. That's when you turn the rocket boosters all the way up and just give it your all, you know, because you still have more left in you. The whole concept of mind over matter is basically telling yourself consciously that you can run that extra lap, you know, that you can do that extra rep, you know, that you have more energy left in you when physically you feel drained. But yeah, guys, this is something very important to keep in mind when striving to better yourself every single day. A personal example I have, guys, is that whenever I run 30 minutes on the treadmill, you know, you know, I need to push myself, you know, I say mind over matter, you know, of course I'm drained, you know, I'm drenched in sweat and like, you know, I don't really want to run anymore, but I know that doing cardio is what will get me shredded, you know, doing cardio is what will get me to that finish line, to that end goal of mine. So I do it anyways. I suck it up and I do it anyways. All right, guys. So coming in at number two, we have, there will always be haters. I'm telling you this from experience. There will always be haters, no matter where you turn, where you go, where you are in life, there will always be haters. But something that you guys have to remember is that they only have the power you give them. Yes, exactly what I said. They only have the power you give them. For example, in the case that you start working out, you've never lifted a pound of weight, you know, and you're just struggling at the gym, you know, you're struggling in comparison to everyone else, you know, and you're getting looks, you know, you're getting looks from everyone else at the gym, you know, they're probably looking down upon you and they're probably hating on you for not being able to lift as much weight as they can, you know, but it's not about that guys. If you stick to your own routine, if you focus on your own goals and if you do what's best for you, no one else matters. The haters have no power. They're powerless against you because you don't pay attention to them. When you don't pay attention to haters, they can't do anything. And that's just the reality of it, guys. You give other people the emotional control over you, then you're the one who's losing. But you keep that emotional control, you know, you keep focused on your goals and where you're going, you're the true winner. All right, guys, so moving on to mindset number three, we have you versus you. Yes, as you heard it here, you versus you. There's no one else you should be competing against. There's no one else you should be comparing yourself against. This is the reason social media is so toxic. You often find yourself comparing the current version of yourself to other people. But something you have to remember is that in order to succeed in life, you must only compete against yourself because if not you will get lost you will get lost in the progress that everyone else is making and you're not looking at the progress that you're making this definitely applies to both people who are just starting to work out and people who have been working out for a while the reason being when you're just starting to work out you don't want to compare yourself to other people other people that have been going to the gym for years now on the other hand you have people who have been working out for years and they still don't look like the people they wanted to look like the role models right well guess what those role models that you look up to don't stop for a single second they keep grinding grinding and grinding they don't stop to compare themselves to others they stop to reflect on their own life they stop to reflect on their past selves and say I've come a long way and honestly that's the mentality that keeps them going and that is a mentality that will lead them to success all right guys so moving on to mental state number four we have know your why now guys this is one of the most important mental states in my opinion out of this whole list know your why it is important to know your why, you know? If you know your why, you will have motivation to keep going. You will have motivation to wake up every morning. You will have motivation to keep eating clean. If you know your why, nothing will stop you. You will become unstoppable. And this is because once you know your why, your goal becomes empowered. Your goal becomes propelled by your purpose and life. And nothing is more powerful than that. I can give you guys an example of myself. I know why I'm working out. I'm working out because I want to get shredded and gain muscle at the same time. That's the reason I eat clean six out of seven days of the week. That's the reason I put two to three hours in the gym every single day from Monday to Saturday. It's as easy as knowing your why, guys. Then everything else will fall into place. All right, guys, so last but not least, we have the final mental state. Coming in at number five, we have start today, not tomorrow, not the next day, 
not next week, start today. Honestly guys, this is one of my favorite mental states just because this will turn you into a beast. This mental state will not only make you more disciplined, but will give you control of your own life. A lot of the times people like to procrastinate, you know? People like to think that they have all the time in the world to achieve their goals, but that's not true guys. We're only on this earth, if we're lucky, for about a hundred or so years. So what are you waiting for? And if you haven't already, start your New Year's resolutions, you know? Start your lifelong goals. Start your goals to achieve your lifelong dreams. And it could be as simple as building a habit, guys. Doing something every single day at the same time builds a habit. Now this especially applies for people who are just starting to work out. So yeah, guys, if you take anything from this video, remember this. You want to become successful in whatever it is you want to become or achieve in life? Start today. Not tomorrow. All right, guys. I know this was a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, this wasn't anything I got off the internet, you know. It came straight off the dome. And it's something, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys. And if it provided some kind of value, guys, please make sure to smash the like button. And please subscribe, guys, because we're trying to make it to 100 subscribers. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Letting me know what you thought about the video. And also, letting me know what other videos you guys would like to see. AJ and Alistair, we out. So, yeah. <clears throat>